Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan, but he told, I will go alone. But, sir, but Raramanan, Sarup Damodar, and others, Sarva Bhattacharya told, Oh, better you should take one, any one Brahmin who will cook for you. He can beg for you, who can take out Danda Kamandalu, it will be there. Mahaprabhu accepted. But he told that not among our, my associates. It should be other from my associates. Otherwise, one will be happy and others will be unhappy. Oh, they agreed and they gave him Balbhalta charge and also a Brahman. Oh, who will cook for, uh, who will take dand and everything. So two Brahmins he took and went in Jhari Khandpath. Jhari Khandpath is Banpath, tigers, bears, deers, bears, so many worldly animals there. But Mahaprabhu was going and tigers and even touched by him. Oh, they used to stand on two feet and Krishna, Krishna. Once Mahaprabhu was bathing, taking bath in the in a kund, sarovar, and a group of elephant came, mad elephant, and Mahaprabhu took the water from the pond and Krishna, Krishna, and they began to do Krishna, Krishna. Jaha prem aise jaha duk darshan. Then no one so merciful that anyone very from very far away and he will sit, take darshan of Mahaprabhu and he will be mad after once Mahaprabhu was going, a group of deers, elephants, tigers, lions, oh, they were coming together all, kissing each other. And Balbhadra Bhattacharya was seeing this scene. <laughs> and the did not care that lion will, tiger will oh, kill me and eat me. In this way, Mahaprabhu came to Varanasi and after Varanasi, he went to Vrindavan. 
first he went to Mathura to bath in Bishram Ghat and then he went to Vrindavan and from Vrindavan he went to 12 prominent forest of Vrindavan and everywhere oh some birds a pair of birds what name Shuk and Sari <laughs> his pair also and that is this parrot was glorifying Krishna and sorry the female she parrot she was glorifying Radhika Krishna is very beautiful and Sadhika was telling my Radhika is most beautiful <laughs> then Chris, uh, she told Oh, Vimalthan. Oh, Bandi by the power of my Radhika, otherwise he cannot do. <laughs> Krishna is Madan Mohan. But, but Sarika told, oh, if Radhika is the left side of Krishna, then other Vajar, otherwise Madan Mohit. So in this, Oh, Pipa for the on his head. Oh, because it will go in the feet of Radhika. <laughs> so very wonderful Mahaprabhu became very happy to hear this. In this speech, everywhere, Bhandidvar, Nandagam, Barshana, Govardhan. And he used to be like totally mad in praise. After that, Palabhadra uh, Mahaprabhu thought, I cannot live here more than this. Why? Otherwise, when I will go to Govardhan, Jamunapuri, and I will oh, be totally mad, and I will be that I am Krishna. So better to give up this place. And then Balabhadra charged and that Brahman took him and they went to throw sorrow to prayer. In the meantime, oh, uh, Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami has left their homes. Rupa Goswami went to his uh, place where Jiva Goswami was a little boy and other and he distributed half of the half of the money to the Brahmin and half he gave to to his parivar relatives so that they should nourish and do Jeev Goswami and then he returned back and he wrote a letter to Sadatal Goswami. I am going anyhow giving bribe to that uh, jailer Yusuf come out very soon. So he did all these things and came in prayer. In the meantime Mahaprabhu was returning from prayer from Bindavan. And then there are so many things to tell, but we were going in brief because only one day we, we have. So, Mahaprabhu wanted to inspire Bhakti Rush, but it is like ocean. He told Rupa Goswami, I am giving you only one drop of that rush. Huh? And you should take it by my mercy. You should take it in your heart. And then Mahaprabhu began to speak and Brajanath will speak. Second part.
Hare Krishna. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya. Radhika e Priyatne Sishima Bhakti Vedanta Shiranayam Goswami Tiramine. Sri Chaitanya Vano Bistam Sapitam Nina Bhutale Swayam Narayam Kadarna Yam Dadati Swapadam Tikam. Vancha Kalpata Rupyas Chakri Pasindu Beva Chapatitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnave Pyo Namona Maha. First of all, I offer my unlimited Dandavat Pranam to the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pada Paramahamsa Pari Rakacharya Ashtatara Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Sila Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Secondly, I offer my same unlimited Dandavat Pranam to my Param Gurudev, Sila Bhakti Prakyankesha Goswami Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, all the Acharya Sinharupanuga Guru Varga. And also I offer my unlimited Dandavat Pranama to the Tridandi Gan, senior Vaishnavas, uncles, aunties, Vaishnavis, guests, brothers and sisters who have come here to hear Harikata from the lotus lips of Srila Gurudev. Srila Gurudev ordered me to speak on the teachings of Srila Rupa Goswami Pal. Ashti Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we heard just now, met with Srila Rupa Goswami in Prayag. That is where he gave Srila Rupa Goswami the instructions how to benefit the whole world. Srila yeah. Rupa Goswami, he is the topmost, most dear and near associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Kapi Karunapur. He has glorified Srila Rupa Goswami in a beautiful verse. My Bengali is not my home language, so I have a little help here. Priya Swarupe, Daita Swarupe, Prema Swarupe, Sahadya Virupe, Nija Rupe, Prabhu Eka Rupe, Tata Narupe, Swavilasa Rupe. So, very beautiful. Srila Rupa Goswami is most near and dearest friend with Sri Swarup Damada. Yeah. He is so intimate with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he is the embodiment of the ecstatic love which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to distribute to the whole world. Not only that, his form is so beautiful, it resembles the beautiful form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he exactly followed the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's like none different from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And with his beautiful writings, he described the sweet pastimes of Sri Rasisi Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan in such detail that it is so attractive and easily available for the living entities like us, especially when we receive the guidance of the dearmost follower of Srila Rupa Goswami, our beloved Gurudev. Without him, we could not even dream of entering this area. Sri Mahaprabhu, he explained to Srila Rupa Goswami Bhatt that in this material universe, yeah. There are unlimited living entities yeah. and they manifest in 8,400,000 different species. Shiva Dhamma can help me. 1,100,000 living entities, living species in the water, right? 900,000 in the water. And one million, one hundred thousand insects and reptiles. Two million trees and plants. And three million four-legged quadruped animals. And then four hundred thousand living species, different species, human species. And in those human species, we've always repeatedly been reminded 
by Srila Gurudev and our previous Acharyas and all Vaishnavas that the human species is very, very rare. It is a great gift from Sri Krishna to realize what is our relationship with Him. So in those 400 different, 400,000 different species, it is very rare that one takes to the path of liberation, searching for answers to the prime questions of life. Who am I? Why am I suffering? What is this world all about? And who is God? Many, many seekers, yeah? they are looking for answers. And amongst them, there are those who seek to receive fruitive results or mystic power or they want liberation and they are never at peace. It is said that only the devotee of Krishna, he is peaceful. Yeah. Krishna Bhakta Nishkam Ate Eva Santa Bhukti Mukti Siddhikami Sakala Asanta They are all restless. Those who search for liberation, for mukti, for bhukti, sense enjoyment, or for city, any mystic power that by performance of activities related to the transcendence, transcendental Lord, I will obtain some power over others, the position in this world. So they, they can never be restless. Only a devotee of Krishna is completely peaceful at heart because he doesn't want anything in this world. He only wants to please his beloved Lord. Then, amongst those, yeah, it is said by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this dialogue with Sri Rupa Goswami, out of those Brahmanda Brahmite Konya Bhagavan Ji, Guru Krishna Prashade by Bhakti Lata Beach. After traveling in this universe for countless, uncountable lifetimes, finally we have arrived in the human form of life. And if one is extremely fortunate, he will meet the bona fide spiritual master, the representative of Sri Krishna. And he will receive, or she will receive, the seed of Bhakti, Bhakti Lata Beach. Any contact with the pure devotee of Krishna, it will ignite uh, that relationship which is dormant. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem, Sadaka Banoi, Shravanari Chuta Chita, Kariya Udai. Within the hearts of all living entities, the potency to develop a beautiful, spontaneous, loving relationship with Sri Krishna. That potency is dormant and it will only be ignited by with that transcendental potency coming from the lotus lips, the emanations from the pure Vaishnava. So if we are so fortunate to receive the association of Krishna's pure devotee, then and then only that seed of bhakti will start to sprout within the heart. And how to look after that seed? Here it is beautifully ex explained in this dialogue that now Chittitani Mahaprabhu is telling you have received the seed of bhakti, the living entity has received the seed of bhakti. So all of us are in that position. We have all received the seed of bhakti. So what is next? All of us come to Gurudev, Gurudev, what shall I do? Please tell me what service can I do? And Srila Gurudev answering, yeah? The best service is to hear and chant the glories of the holy name, pastimes. To remember those very pastimes and thus continue to water your bhakti lata. Yeah? You have to become the gardener. What is she? The desire to serve Krishna. Yeah. Cool. Krishna Sevana Seva Vasana. If we outer symptom outer symptom is that we have no other interest in this world other than only to perform activities which are favorable. Oh, Saranagati is Saranagati and 
desire to serve Krishna. In, in terms is intrinsic characteristics. Characteristics is uh, Krishna Seva Bhasana. In what way I will serve Krishna? My life will be successful. And externally, Shraddha. What is Shraddha? Khand khand jadi jaya deh mo pran. Tohu ami badane na chadya. If and when anyone will cut me pieces, pieces, but yet I cannot like Haridas Thakur. So you should consider you in what a stage you are. Go on. Very poor stage. Yeah. Then this creeper. Then this creeper, unless we accept the responsibility of gardener, the creeper will not sprout. Yeah? There will be no leaves and it will not grow. So this process, Malihane Korese Bija Arupan, Shafanam Kirtanan Jale Koreo Sekhan. Become the gardener and by hearing and chanting, water that seed which is within our heart. Yeah? If there is a little seed planted within the soil and there is no gardener to look after, giving regular water protected from the sun, from the wind, then seed cannot sprout and it cannot develop into a beautiful creeper. So next, if we grow that creeper within our heart, it is of the most essential importance that we remain in Saru Sangha. Asad Sangha Chaga. Yeah. Give up the association of non-devotees. If we associate with those who are not interested in Krishna Bhakti, we are bound to become affected by their qualities. And our creeper will not blossom, it will not sprout. Yeah. This is golden rule. Always be in Sadhu Sangha. Yeah. And then in Sadhu Sangha only, it is like a protection. We will be always safeguarded. From what? Yeah. From Vaishnava Aparat. As soon as we wander away from Sadhu Sangha, our mind, our mouth will start to speak things which are not favorable for the growth, the blossoming of our creeper. Yeah, we can find so many excuses to give up Sadhu Sangha, but never ever should we give in to that. Always remain in Sadhu Sangha and thus protect the creeper of our bhakti. And very soon, leaves will manifest. Prejakni Subhat Mokshala Gutakrit Sadullava Sandra Nanda Vises Atma Krishna Akarshani Chashat. Two leaves will manifest when we are remaining in Sadhu Sangha and we engage in that process, watering the creeper, yeah, the seed, by performing Sadhana Bhakti. Yeah. What is Sadhana Bhakti? Prakriti Sadhya Bhagat Sadha Bhavasa Sadhana Vida Nitya Siddha Sabhavasya Prakat Yam Ridhi Sadhya So this process of Sadhana Bhakti, what is it? To remain in Sadhu Sangha yeah, and cultivate the process of hearing and chanting, always being under guidance of Sri Guru. Yeah. Hear from him. If we think, oh Gurudev, I need a Siksha Guru, yeah. even you are present, but I cannot always associate with you. Yeah, please give me advice. Gurudev telling, I am your Siksha Guru, Diksha Guru and Siksha Guru. I give you in my books, my lectures, everything. You can write, you can telephone. If you don't believe Gurudev's letter, call up. Speak directly with Gurudev. Gurudev is so merciful. Yeah? Our all in all is Sri Guru. And by his mercy only will we advance and our creeper will gradually, gradually manifest. Yeah? When we attain this great fortune to be always in Sadhu Sangha and our creeper is growing, Siti Tari Mahaprabhu telling them, these two leaves, Plejakni and Subhada, yeah? they will manifest. All in, all Anartas, all 
that concepts, they will disappear. We will easily overcome all our obstacles. If we question Guru Dev, how can I overcome my obstacles? Guru telling, come to Braja at the time of Kartik. Come to, uh, to Nabhadvi by the time of Nabhadvi Parikrama. Be in Sadhu Sangha. These are like injections which will keep us healthy throughout the year. Not only that, Guru Dev is traveling everywhere. If we water our Bhakti Creeper by being always in Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha means come close and here. Don't sit far away and here, one year out, one year in. Be always very close and hear Harikata. So then, all things will become auspicious. Then, Jari Vaishnava Parad, Ute Hati Mati, Asat Sangha Chaga E Vaishnava Char. This is the behavior of the Vaishnava. He's very careful not to commit Vaishnava Parad. Oh, I may see something wrong in that Vaishnava. Yeah. Let me first define Upasakha. Upasakha Uge Tabe, Upasakha. What is Upasakha? Nisida Chag. Koti Hati Jiva Himsana Lava Puja Pratishtadi Yata Upashakaka. There are weeds. If we water a creeper, yeah, weeds will also manifest around the creeper. And those weeds, they look exactly like the creeper. Yeah, and if we water them, it looks like we have many creepers, but they will actually choke the main creeper. We have to be very, very careful and always accept guidance from Sri Guru and senior Vaishnavas to get rid of those weeds. What are those weeds? Yeah. They are that our behavior is like diplomatic. Yeah. Kutinata. Yeah. What is it, Maras? La Puja Pakista. Yeah. La Puja, that is that we want worship. Yeah. Name and fame, and Jiva Himsa doing violence to others. So if we are looking in our hearts, if I look in my heart, I see all these qualities are there. Yeah? And I'm watering them by hearing and chanting. I'm very eager to gossip and be diplomatic, yeah? and do give pain to others. So how to overcome this? We cannot say I am perfect from the beginning. We have to be always very near and dear to see Guru and senior Vajras and request them, beg them, please help me get rid of these weeds and then we will see gradually, gradually the weeds will become less and the creeper starts to sprout and these beautiful qualities start to manifest. Things will become very auspicious Yeah, we won't have any difficulty and we will always be happy, engaged and with more and more desire we will want to serve. Sri Krishna under the guidance of Sri Guru and Vaishnavas. Then Kripa goes to beyond this world, Vaikuntha and more of Ajodhya. Dwarka, Mathura and Vrindavan, more Krishna Kalpa, Briksha, Krishna Lotus feet is like Kalpa Briksha, desire tree and there it is and also up, up to Gopis Madhurna with Krishna in Vrindavan and there that fruit is totally ripe and become only rush, rush. Nothing other thing, unwanted thing. No chilka, guthali and... <laughs> and from there, that fruit comes to this world with, where sadhak is and sadhak takes it and tastes and become full of Happiness. Hmm? And after that, oh, 
taking the help of that kripa, oh, see, that sadhak essence, and he goes beyond Vaikuntha, Dwarka, Mathura, Golok, and Krishna Vrindavan on the lotus feet of Krishna, and he received the service of Krishna. Moreover, he becomes the Radha Dasi, like Manjari, Rup Manjari, Rati Mantri. Oh, this is the last fruit of this Kripa. So you should try to what rise that Lata and be like Bhakti Kripa and sitting here you will taste how after that Mahaprabhu continued and one Maharaj will speak. Jolkhe Lord. Om Gyanat Timirandrasa Gyananyana Salakaya Chakchur Mitam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namam Gurave Gura Chandraya Radhika Vita Dali Krishnaya Krishna Bhattaya Tada Bhattaya Namunam Bancha Kalapatri Vascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Paditana Apshipo Vaisnave Punamu Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adhaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Shri Kaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare First of all, I offer my humble, respectful obeisances unto lotus feet of my Guru Pada Padma, Nittarila, Vishnu Pad, Ashtutra, Satishi Srima, Bhakti Vedansa Lavaman Krishna Maharaj, and Om Vishnu Pad Paripraja Gacharja Vajja Tridandi Sami Samad Bhakti Vedansa Narayan Krishna Maharaj. Simultaneously, I offer my humble, respectful Dhanavak Pranam. Lotus Vita Nitturila Aparishtam Vishnu Pad Ashtutara Sajmada Bhakti Vedanta Sai Maharaj and all Sanasis and all Vaishnava and Vaishnavis and presented all of my respectful guests. Gurudev is very kind and merciful. He gave me the chance to speak about the purifies about Rupa Goswami Pad. Just we heard when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met with Rupa Goswami Pad in Prayag. And that time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave all his treasure of heart in the heart of Rupa Goswami Pad. And just we heard Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Rupa, I am giving one drop of the Premo Rosh for just you taste these things. We heard how we will attain our supreme goal that is called Prema Madhur Joros. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Hiru, Sadhaka, in this material world, he is practicing bhajan and sadhan under guidance of genuine bona fide guru. But his bhakti lata, the kripa of bhakti, bhakti lata, going to Guru Vrindavan. Premphal Paki Pade Mali Asadoy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself explained this Prem is going there, Golok Vrindavan, still sadhak in this material world, and that Prem fall just is coming down from Golok Vrindavan and his testing. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continue explain what is that the Prem. Before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no one can discuss about these very confidential things. What is the Prem? Rupa Goswami Pad realized the heart of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna Kavira very clearly explained what is the frame, this thing. And Rupa Goswami Pad, very scientific way, he also gives the definition about frame in his unprecedented book, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And Sri Lavi Sanat Chakraborty Pad and Sri Lajiv Goswami Pad very nicely and elaborately discussed about this. Bhars, Anna Vilashita Sunnam, 
ज्ञान कर्मादि अनाप्रितम अनुपले न कृष्णम सिलनम भक्तिर उत्तमा very nice beautiful this अनाभिलाषे सुन्नम ज्ञान कर्मादि अनाप्रितम अनुपले न कृष्णम सिलनम भक्तिर उत्तमा the cultivation of activities which <coughs> not contaminate with karma gyana yoga tapasya and not also and any kinds of unwanted things in his heart and he serves his ishta dev under a, a incessantly and he always in remembering his serving thing that is called the uttama bhakti so chaitanya mahaprabhu explain this this thing how he is sadhak to develop his bhajan and sadhan so continue lord chaitanya mahaprabhu explain sadhan bhakti hoite hoy roti ro udoy roti udoy hoile premete udoy very nice beautiful this story lord chaitanya mahaprabhu explain what is sadhan bhakti how will first we also come in sadhan bhakti kriti satta bhavit satta sadhana vidha nitya siddha sa bhavasya prakatam hridi sadhata one who performs bhajan and sadhan with his limbs and body but his aim and object uddesha how to attain the one the particular bhav mood of the eternal associators of कृष्ण कृष्ण नित्य सिद्ध स्पोरी कर भाव भाव इन दैट मीन सो साधन भक्ति दैट मींस दिस थिंग्स विथ आवर लिव्स एंड बॉडी टू सर्व गुरु एंड वैष्णव एंड हाउ वी वी रिमूव ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ अनर्थस फ्रॉम आवर हार्ट सो रूप गोस्वामी पाद इन भक्ति रस अमृत सिंधु वेरी क्लियरली एक्सप्लेन श्रद्धा टू आसक्ति दिस इज कॉल्ड साधन भक्ति देन बाय द कॉजलेस मार्शल नित्य स्पोरी कर ऑफ कृष्ण जन Krishna Nitya Parikar, eternal associate of Krishna. Then, by the causeless mercy, or the sprinkled mood, manifested in our heart, that is called the ruti or bhav. So the sattva, vishes atma, prema, sujans, bhago, ruchi vichitta, mercy na krit asu bhav ujjate. Then Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continue explain how sadhak. they walk his body in sadhan and realize these things and how is he, how is very tasteful this prem prasali chaitanya mahaprabhu discuss with rus goswami pad braj prem lord chaitanya mahaprabhu told he rup listen very carefully je first sadhak attained in the stage of sthayi bhav that is called fixed mood then within the platform of fixed mood that is called thai bhav then four ingredients will come that is called vibhav anubhav satti gan vibhichari sthai bhave sthai bhave samagri misale hoy to rasalo gurudev gave an example if you want to make very nice beautiful juice or sarbat All kinds of need for many kinds of in- ingredients: sugar, water, camphor, little bit leaven, leaven, camphor, and talimirich, black, black pepper. Everything this needs, and according to the proportion, then you mix together, then you drink very nice, beautiful this juice or drink this thing. In the same way, sadhak should come in this stage of sthayi bhav. in this thai bhav in this contest shila chaitanya mahaprabhu explain ye <coughs> what is a thai bhav thai bhav means viraj virajanti no no ha just forget the shloka yes that means that which bhav is never never going here and there only always fixed and for for bhrut not changes not changes time time any fixed not changes virat uh, for bhrut people that means is all that means even all the vairi bhav and mitra bhav also also he also controls that is called sai bhav what are sai bhav sai bhav one sai bhav must become santo dasko sakho vasala and mudhur 
one his will be sthai bhav will come in his heart but in others in others that is that is called the seven seven kinds of um, secondary secondary bhav that is that is that is called dasme hasa adbhut karun vir vibhatsa this comes in gona that is called gona bhav
Sambhav and one is called Vishambhav. Only in Braj, Brajavasi, Braj, Brajavasi is Subhala Siddham. They have friendship with Krishna that is called Vishambha Seva. Very intimacy they serve to Krishna. That is called Sakhamare Sakkabhave Kare Skandha Arohan Dumi Ko Nubadalok Dumi Ami Dumi Samo Chaitanya Chaitanya Muritam Krishna Das Kaviraj explained how is beautiful this Sakkabhav friendship mood with Subhala and Siddham when they are quarreling to each other that time Siddham he says he says my father Vishwabhanu Maharaj had 11 lakhs cows and Krishna your father has only 9 lakhs cows so you are not higher than us that sometimes they also climbed that on the shoulder of Krishna then when Krishna defeated then they also by four saying, you have to carry to us Krishna Parabrahma Bhagavan, his last fraction on the dev, lifted in the innumerable universe on his hood. At same Krishna Chandra, he could not carry to Sivala and Siddham, just going one or two steps and falling down. Sometimes they also use many harsh words with Krishna. Then they boycott. Krishna saying, I cannot carry to you. And Krishna hide it in one bush. Then Subhala Siddham, they could not find out where is Krishna. Then they shouted, okay, today, from today, we will not play with you. Completely what? Why God? Then Krishna, he comes out from the bush and say, okay, again, I will carry to you. So in this way, they use many harsh words. Eh? And also embracing Kishi. This is called a Vishambha service. That is a friendship with Krishna. Eh? In some in some Brahm, Sakha in Pure or Juno, Atat in Dharakapuri or Vasanapur or Juno. Just I explain when Krishna manifested universal form, Vishru, or Jun became very fight, eh? fighting, afraid, what to do this? So this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Santas, Nishtha, Steadiness, Dasas, Spiritual Mood, Sakhas, Seva Vritti, Intimacy Seva Vritti, and his own qualification that is called Tarana Bhatsan, Lalan, Palan, Tarana Bhatsan. Bhatsala Bhav means his word. Sometimes Mother Jasoda just tied it to Krishna. He should not do this, he should do this. Just tied it, that is called Tarana Bhatsan. और लालन पालन माता मरे पुत्र भावे करे लालन पालन कृष्णदास कभी राज एक्सप्लेन कृष्णस इस सेइंग माय मादर जसुदा सी इस थिंकिंग आई आई एम हार वेरी इनोसेंट बेबी वेरी नाइस बिटफुल इन दिस वे मादर जसुदा सी नरिसमेंट दिस थिंग एंड मादर जसुदा सी डिड नॉट थिंक कृष्ण इस द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड है � in Braj, Vatsala Bhav, Nandake Makroda Brahman Sriya Evam Mahodam Jasodacha Mahabhaga Kapujasa Stanam Dari Parikhid Maharaj, he asked to Sukhdev Kaswami Maharaj, Nandake Makroda Brahman Sriya Evam Mahodam Jasodacha Mahabhaga Kapujasa Stanam Dari Lord Sri Hari Bhagavan Lord Sri Hari, he is sucking the breast milk of Mother Rajasudha and Mother Rajasudha nourishment. Just a little bit, one small example. Once Mother Rajasudha decorated Krishna with very nice, beautiful cloths, yellow garments, pick up a feather on his turban and fruit on his hand, very nice, beautiful kajal. In his eyes, Krishna came in with his friends playing. Just Krishna is playing with his friends, taking the sands. That is called Krishna is making the sand castle eh, with his pain, Subhala Siddhanta. And that time what is, then Krishna told, my sand castle is very nice, beautiful. Then Siddhanta told, no, my sand castle is very beautiful. Mother Bangal, he told, no, my sand castle is very beautiful. Then they become very angry, each other. Then Mother Bangal, 
Prabhu Swamipad, he quoted this verse. Very nice, beautiful. Sri Gandharva, Sankara Sankarastakam, very nice. Semi Rupa Ramanam, Sundarata Abhishta. Krishna manifested his unique and parallel form in front of Simuti Radhika in her hostage. Radha Ji Krishna Jatya Bahedandaya Tribhanga Tribhanga Rupai Bhruna Chaiya Chaitanya 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 When Krishna comes in front of Simuti Radhika, then Krishna automatically what? Manifested his Tribhanga Lalit form. This is same as so he is saying in this part. Radha Ji Jadhi Krishna Rehdandaya Tribhanga Lalit Hoi Bhruna Chaiya how is Madhur Jarak? Madhur Jaras is when Krishna manifests in his last day. This Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continue to explain. Madhur Jaras means all kinds of rasas in, inside in Madhur Jaras. Akasati Gunijana, Parapara, Vase, five kinds of uh, elements. That is called Akas, space, bayu, air, tej. Fire, Jal, Water, Prithivi, Earth. What is the qualification? One qualification in the sky, sky that is the space, that is called only one qualification of space, that is called the sound, Sabdha. Bayu, here one qualification, that is called, if Bayu, there are two qualifications, Sabdha and Sparsha, sound and touch. Tejas, Fire, three qualifications, sound, and form. What are four qualifications? That is called the Sabda, Sparsa, Rupa and Rasa. Ras, ras means? Yes. And Prithivi, the earth. Earth is what? At the time four, five qualifications. That is called Sabda, Sparsa, Rupa, Rasa and Gamba. That is called smell. In the same way, in Madhurja Ras, Five, ring dasa sab, all kinds of sandha dasa sabka, but so everything inside the Madhur Jaras. But Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, in this Madhur Jaras, there are many kinds of Madhur Jaras. Not one thing. That is called in Taraka Puri, Krishna Tri Dhamas. Taraka, Mathura, Vrindava. That is called Purna. Tarata is called Purna. Or that is full. Or Mathura, that is called Purna. Purna Tara. More complete. Or Vrindavan, that is even you are. Purna Tama. More, most complete. What is the process of having this Madhur Yara? What is the process to achieve the Madhur Yara? Madhur Jaras, how will attain to Madhur Jaras? Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to continue to explain this thing. Kono bhagge, kono jibir, sattha jodi hai, say jib, sadhu sangha karai, sadhu sangha hoi te hai, anartane vritti, anartane vritti te hoi te hai, nishtha. No, no, not so prolonged.